We know students are spending the rest of their school year learning from home, but issues with Wi-Fi are making that really difficult. So as Aubrey Jackson shows you, some counties are helping them plug in. So early on, we discovered it's a small percentage, but still, it's a pretty good number. I mean, we're talking about hundreds of families that do not have an internet connection. With social distancing being the new normal in parts of Pasco County with limited internet connectivity, hundreds of students are finding it difficult to connect with their teachers online and keep up with their distance learning. So rather than trying to get hot spots for every single household, we decided here's what we can do. We can put a hub, we call it a hub, mm -hmm. um, and bring it to one of our schools in the parking lot. Um, that way several people can work off the same device. To bridge the digital divide, parents and students can visit five PASCO schools to connect to free password-protected Wi-Fi. Here's a list of the schools where the Wi-Fi hubs will be. Lacoochee, Woodland, Cody River, Rodney B. Cox, and PASCO Elementary School. Starting today, running Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Well, we put some money into um, some of the hot spots and we're putting some money into the hubs. Um, it, it's not tremendously expensive, but you know, these are things that we should probably have in stock anyway. The mobile Wi-Fi hubs will be available until students are able to return to traditional learning. Um, there are some kids that, that have uh, advantages that other kids do not. We're trying to eliminate those barriers, especially right now.